In this video, I'm gonna show you how to collaborate on a website design in Editor X. And thanks Editor X for sponsoring this video. So I went in Editor X and I set up a template and I started to edit and customize it. So you can see I came up with this cool design. It's all about like a shoe design, which is really cool. So I came up with this design here and I'm really happy with it. I think it looks really cool, really cool. So what I wanna do is actually add someone to my site. And especially if you're a web designer and you have a team or you're working on a big project, you need to be able to add and collaborate with people. So one of the cool things um, with Wix Editor X is that it's got something called concurrent editing. So you can actually add someone to the site and you can edit in real time. So I'm gonna show you how to add someone. What you wanna do is go to the top left corner, click on site, then what you wanna do is go down to roles and permissions. So once you've clicked on that, it'll take you to the back end dashboard where you can add someone um, via email. So I'm in the roles and permissions menu now, and it's really easy to add someone. All I gotta do is go to the top right corner, click invite people. Now all I have to do is type in an email. So I'll type in my other email I got. So I'll go uh, jeremy at myriaddesignco.com, click add and then you'll have it add. You can also add multiple people, so I can add my other account as well, or a friend, whoever's part of your team. So beautiful. So what I can do now is select a role. Now the role is what permission they're gonna have on your site. So are they your manager? Are they another designer that's working with you? Um, are they a billing manager or domain manager? You really need to think about what you need to choose. So for these guys, I'm gonna select a website designer. And I can scroll down, you can see all these other options you've got. You can also create a custom role if you want, but I'm pretty sure that Editor X covers all the basic stuff, um, roles that are necessary in the industry. So click Website Designer and then click Send Invite. Now what I'm gonna do is make sure that I go to my email on my um, website. So I'm just gonna go on my laptop and quickly click Accept. Once they accept it, then you're all good to go um, and ready to start to edit. Cool, so once I've invited them and they've accepted it, all I have to do is actually start to edit. So you can see in the top right corner, I've got Jeremy at Mirror Design Co. So that's the other account that I'm using just on my laptop. So we can actually both click on an element. So I'm just gonna move the inspector out of there and I can click on an element and start to work on it. So um, we both can work on the same element at the same time. And what you can actually see that happens is that it adds a little color tag um, on the bottom there. So you can see Jeremy um, comes up with a color there and I can see that he's green. And if I hover my mouse over there, you can see it's actually active. But if that account or your team member is not there, it would actually be grayed out. So um, for example, I can come in here and maybe I wanna change the name. Maybe it's the wrong number. Maybe it's the uh, 347, uh, 347 and, um, and I'm happy with that. And basically whatever you click on, you can edit in real time and both of you can actually hit publish and it's actually gonna save the work really easily and efficiently. Another cool thing is that you can actually add comments. So it's really easy to break those communication barriers and not get stuck in and when things get lost in translation, you can really just edit things. So what you can actually do is click on the top right corner. There's a little button say icons, uh, sorry, that says comments. And what you can do is you can add a comment here. So wherever I want, maybe I want this image here to um, have some a, a design change, right? Maybe I want them to fix this little white thing in the image. What I can actually do is click on the comment icon and what I'm gonna do is type in, please uh, adjust the image, um, get rid of white space um, on the shoe. And I can press enter and the comment should be able to pop up there. Now you can see the comments are there on the right hand side, I had that comment. So now when your teammate comments, they can click on that comment and it's gonna move them to that point on the page and then they know, okay, I've got to edit this, I've got to fix that up. So another cool thing is that you can edit, create and shift the roles and permissions at any time. So what I can actually do is go back to site and I'm gonna go down to roles and permissions on the menu there. So you can see here, Jeremy, the other email, as you can see there, website designer role clearly specified there. What I can actually do is actually edit that. So I wanna to go to the right corner and you'll see the three dot menu and what I can actually do is change the role. So I'm gonna click change role. So maybe I want them to have full control, make them an admin or maybe make them a website manager. I can totally do that. And it's gonna give them all this access. 
and maybe I want them to be able to, you know, be a website commenter and a viewer as well. So I can do that and I can click save. And just like that, they will have the permissions there ready to go. If I don't want someone, all I can do is remove them. So click the same button, click remove. And it's gonna actually remove that other team member. And the cool thing is you can add as many team members as you have. You can more, have more than three um, as part of your, or, which is free. It doesn't cost anything extra, which I really think is cool. So if you're on that free version, you can see still play around, add people to your team and um, test it out and try it out. The next thing they want to point out is about design libraries. When you create a library or a design system, you can actually save it to the website, which is going to give your other teammates the option to use that and customize that and reuse it in any other part of the website. So what I can actually do is I want to go up the top and click on tools at the top menu. Then what I want to do is click design libraries and you can see that I've got a library here. What I can actually do is open the library. So you're going to see here, I'm going to type in Tiger um, brand and I'm just going to rename that on the side there, which is really cool. I've gone ahead and already added the headings. So these are all my headline and paragraph styles that I've set, put it in Poppins, semi bold, love that font, really clean and, and nice. So I've got that all set. I've also gone ahead and added the colors. So you can see here, there's already some pre-made um, design li like colors there, but what I've gone ahead is changed the action colors here. Um, which is the orange set there, which I think is really, really cool. So now when I go ahead and click site styles, what you can actually do is click colors and then I can actually just use them and all my other teammates can use them as well. So if I can click edit, maybe I want to, you know, add a bit more of a red uh, orange, like a darker orange. It's going to change all the orange on the whole um, website and I can click apply and those changes is going to be reflected in the library. So if a team member updates a brand color or a font, it's going to uh, affect everything and every team member will get that update. Now, if I want to see what my team is up to, maybe I've set them to do a task or something like that. What I can actually do is go to the page menu on the left hand side. I'll click the pages icon. And if I put my mouse over the pages, I can see where they are. So I'm going to scroll down and you can actually see that my other team member is on the contact page. And I like how it has the icon. You can also move your mouse to the top right corner as we did originally. And you can see it says current page and it says contact there as you can see. So if I click that, I can go to the page that they're working on and I can see that they're working on this contact page and you can see Jeremy there in the green, um, which is the other account. The team member is actually working on that page. So I think it's good to keep track. And so all the team um, is collaborating and knowing what they're working on and always being on the ball and working on a website. One other thing as well, if there's a specific team member that you don't want to have access to all the pages, maybe you want them to only work on a landing page specifically, what you can do is go back to the site on the top left menu and go down to permissions per page. Now, if I click that, it's going to allow me to edit permissions. So I can see my other uh, account here. I can change the site role here really fast instead of going into the menus, or I can click here as well and I can actually untick all the pages I want. And maybe I want them to only work on the contact and the shop page. So it will only limit their access to those two pages in case I don't want them to mess around with the home page because I've been working on that for hours. So that's another thing you can do to limit um, their permissions on that um, website. So there you have it. That's how you use Editor X, especially in a team or a collaboration environment. It's the ultimate web creation tool for collaborators and teams. So give it a try, try it out and you won't be disappointed. You can actually check out more about collaboration if you go to editorx.com dash collaboration and you can see some of the cool stuff here that you have. You can work at the same time. It makes communication seamless. You can also create and customize roles and create team um, accounts, which is really cool. And once again, the design libraries you can play around with. So that's the video for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. Let me know in the comments what you think. Are you going to try out the X for your next client project? And remember to smash that like button and hit the subscribe button because I post design content every week. Talk to you next time. 